Welcome back to Local Goon Garage. Today, this is the first episode of the series of building the shopping trolley go-kart. This thing is going to be wild and he's been waiting so long for this video. Today, we are going to be getting the trolley ready to be sitting on the frame, cutting it all down, and then maybe a bit more, but depends how I'm feeling. So first up, what you wanna do is you wanna get yourself a trolley. Now this might be not the best part, but just go find a trolley that's been sitting in the bush for a while. This is where I found this. It was sitting in the bush for about three years and I just managed to grab it. The first thing that you wanna start off doing is cutting these legs off. So these welds down here, you wanna cut all that off, cut all that off, and I'll be showing you how to do that during this video. Finally, both sides of the are off. Do you know what the good thing about this is? Once you've cut it off, these are actually really handy. You can use them as like little, you can make like little like tool sections out of it and like a little slide. It's good, you just, you know, kick it around. It's perfect. Bruh. Day two of the shopping trolley go-kart build. Look at this. We managed to get this off Facebook Marketplace for $150. So basically, that is going on there. And what's happening is I'm going to be taking it all apart and making it pretty much just longer so that the trolley can sit in there. I'm going to be bending the steering so it kind of curves into the trolley. Already got a chain and brakes on it. Let's do this. So pretty much all the main parts are off now. Looks you know, pretty good. The frame's in decent condition. It's not too bad. I'm gonna give her a clean and then we're gonna get back into it, cutting it all up. So basically what I'm thinking is cutting from there to there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretty much put all of that material from top down the bottom. And then once that is there to stop the flex, I'm gonna get one of these big boys and shove it right down the middle so it stops the flex. Let's go. Now that it's all clean, got to do a bit of maintenance on it, get a bit of tyres moving because that's a little bit loose in there, so I'll tie some all that up and then we'll get chopping. So the wheels are all good now. We're just gonna, all right, we're gonna just get chopping, chop all the little side bits off first, you know, and then I'll measure it all up and make sure it's the length of the trolley and then just weld it all together. Then put maybe some strength down the middle once we've done that. All 
Alright, so we've been cutting for about an hour now. We've got the first bit off. Frame's starting to get there. Cut that bit where it went around and around and around. But now we've got to line it up with that because that's where the trolley's going to sit furthest. Cut up to that so it kind of sits back a bit. And yeah. Alright, we've got the second bit off. I'll show you again. Now it's getting there. It's an open frame. Now we're going to cut down the middle and try to extend it. After a full day of cutting, or not a full day, like three hours, the quad is finally in half. How great now, is that? Now, I probably should have done this at the start, but you need to remove the brake cable coming from the top to the back. There will be brake fluid in there, so it might get everywhere, but let's see what it does. Lucky there was no brake fluid in it. I was expecting it to kind of go everywhere, but it just kind of dribbled out and there was nothing really in it. All right, that's going to be the end of the episode today. I'll post this tonight and then I'll get another one going tomorrow. Probably be about three days, but look at the state of this place. It's going to be mad though. This thing's going to hit, I reckon, going to hit 90 Ks. It's got all the parts, got all the suspension. Get everything you ever need. Now I've got to find a motor, wire that up when the frame's all done. I'll do the frame tomorrow and hopefully I can get the next video posted by about three days. So hope to see you guys soon. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, put your comments in the comment section. But let's go.